girl. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. You want some more treats? Good girl. Oh, a cord fell. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, not much to update. The guinea pigs have been doing really good. We got a nice clean cage and they just had a really yummy dinner. And I just checked their weight the other day too. They are all gaining weight. Which maybe for the girls may not be so big because Tara's become a little bit of a porker. But Callum's been gaining weight and that's actually really good because he's kind of been underweight since we've gotten him. So yeah, he seems to be doing really good. Oh, you just want all the treats? Alright. Good girl. Is that yummy? Hi, sweetheart. Here, look at me. Look this way. Look this way. Yeah, Tara doesn't really like being pet yet, but we're working on it. She does kisses, which is nice. She's actually my only one that does. More kisses. No? Are you done? Hi, sweetheart. You wanna go back? We can go back. I'll go get your sister, okay? I almost caught a little Callum. But I got little Luna instead. Hi, Luna. You want some treats? You want some treat treats? Hi. Here, sweet girl. Oh. Hi, sweetheart. I don't know if you can hear Callum complaining in the background. He almost got on the bed, but not quite. Luna's my good little girl. Luna's been doing really good recently. She really lets us pet her a lot. Hi. Oh, I thought that was going to be a kiss, but that was a little nibble. She said, I want more treats. Where are more treats? Hi, sweetheart. Oh. Oh. Got like hay in your fur. I love her crazy hair. It's so fun. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, we've been trying to do this more when we have time. Just holding them a bit more, petting them. Trying to get them a little bit more. Trying to get them to come out of their shell a little bit more. I don't know if it's working yet. We'll see. But Luna's been doing a little bit better than Tara. Like I said, Tara doesn't really like being pet too much. Hi, sweetheart. You're such a cutie. You're a spaz. What are you doing? Oh, when I weighed them the other day, Luna broke the 1100 mark and Callum's really close to 1200 so he's not too much bigger than them but he is still bigger it's just hard to believe how big these guys are they were so tiny when I got them so little babies okay 
If you want, we can just go back. We don't have to be out that long. It's just for little treats and cute faces. We did both of those. All right, let's go back. Let's try to see if I can get little Callum. Say bye-bye. Well, I'm not having much luck with Callum. He keeps going halfway. Oh, is he gonna do it after I got? Oh, of course he did it after I got the camera not set up anymore. Okay. I waited a good few minutes for him to go on this, but literally as soon as I got the camera off to film how he wouldn't go on it, he went on it. Hi, baby boy. Let me get you a couple treats too. And just so you know, I'm not overfeeding them pea flakes. These are kind of like bottom of the bag, so they're all really broken and tiny. So that's why I give them quite a few, because they're very, very little. Hi! I just learned recently you gotta be really careful when giving treats to this little. Oh, jeez! You gotta be careful for two reasons when you're giving him treats. One, he tends to bite on accident, he doesn't mean to. And two, like you just saw, he almost fell. You know, I guess I could share a story time with Callum. I don't think I've said yet. So this was back when he was really, really bad with the bloating and the really bad poops. I had him on our bed and I was giving him gas drops and I was rubbing his little tummy because he definitely needed it. And I was rubbing it for a little while and then I, I decided to get a little comfortable and then I laid down and before I knew it I fell asleep which I know is a very bad thing if you have your guinea pig out you really should have them supervised at all times however in my defense my boyfriend was home and he was awake at the time well I woke up from my nap and Callum was not on the bed and I looked, I was looking under the pillows, under the blanket, maybe he burrowed under. Nope, he was not on the bed. So I came out to the living room and I told my boyfriend that I could not find Callum and he was napping at the time as well. So it took us probably maybe five to 10 minutes to find him. Of course, we were freaking out the whole time. And we finally got like a bag of veggies to lure him out with those. And you know, he just happily comes out from under the couch the thing that worried me the most, I honestly don't know how he got off the bed. There isn't any furniture around the bed, like nothing for him to climb down onto. And the bed was pretty tall. But I learned my lesson. Not gonna have any nap times with this guy anymore. Cause he's a little escape artist. Hi, sweetheart. But story aside, this guy's been doing excellent. Don't bite my, ow. Don't bite my shirt. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You're a good little guy. But yeah, his, uh, his poops have been really good. He's been able to eat veggies with the girls which is way easier for me. It was really hard having to separate them all the time, not to mention it was very sad having him watch from a distance the veggies he couldn't eat. But yeah, he's been doing really good. Well, oopsie. I'll go ahead and leave it here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And also consider subscribing to this channel as well. We post new videos every Monday and a vlog every Wednesday. Oh, I got a little escape artist again. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have a safe and a lovely day. Bye-bye.